Hey guys, welcome back for an episode of Ratchet Clan Future Tools of Destruction. Last episode we arrived on Fast 2 and we started looking around for the Hollow Planet and the Gobot. It was still nothing. And today we're actually going to continue on with our planet. We actually destroyed five turrets and we actually started making our way towards uh, Tachyon. So we're going to be continuing that on today. And it looks like the cutscene straight off. Okay, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for like plot development, I guess. The Lombax has raised you. How could you do this to them? Those filthy creatures have the gall to pity me. I spent years building an army large enough to lay waste to this infernal planet. What did you do to them? If it's answers you seek, meet me in the court of Azimuth. <laughs> I'll take the grab ramp. You find out where that door leads. Okay, so we're gonna take the grab ramp and they're gonna do over there. I'm hoping we actually find out the reason behind um, Tachyon's like anger and hatred towards the Lombaxes because it's never really explained that much. I'm hoping we actually do find out why because that would be epic, wouldn't it? So uh, I I'm really hoping that's the case. I was, I was hoping that would be the hollow plan there, but guess not. Uh, there's so much more I want to know about about Tachyon. Like I know he. He's kind of like the supreme will of the world, but like, why is he betraying us? Why is, why does he want to get rid of the Lombaxes? It's not explained in one in one bit, uh, which I don't like. I don't like. I just really wish it was explained a bit more. Oh my god, enemies, enemies! Okay, pull out the missile launch. If you remember, we actually did level up a lot of our weapons. We're actually reaching the end of our weapon our weapon lot here, which is a bit sad. Uh, but yeah, we've almost leveled up all of our weapons in the entire game here. How scary is that? Okay, let's back up. These guys, by the way. Do so much damage, it's crazy. So I, I kind of want to be a bit more careful when actually dealing with the big elites. By the way, I still want to level up my weapons here, so we're gonna try to do that. Oh my god, wait, wait, we're going upside down. I'm actually kind of glad we actually actually are on the um, Lombax's planet because that, that's cool. We've never actually seen it before. Well, we, except when we was on Fast Two and earlier on, but it's such a cool thing to actually have in Ratchet and Clank. So uh, I'm happy about that. Okay, let's have a look around here. Anything in here? Nope. Ooh, more bolts. Okay, okay. Anything in here? Nope, still nothing. Still looking for those gold bolts and everything. Oh, we can actually buy. We can literally buy everything here. Okay, what's through here then? Okay, it looks like there's a locked door. And uh, what else do we have? What up, armor vendor? No new armor. Uh, nope, nothing. Any new weapons for us to buy? I know there won't be. We can actually buy like stock up on ammo, which is great. We can't level up anything, and I'm guessing there's going to be no reason for anything else. But let's just continue on then. Okay. So we got some more stuff over here. I'm just trying to keep my eyes on the map because I don't actually want to go ahead too far because if, if it get to a final boss fight we might not be able to leave and i want to actually be able to get everything before that even happens so i want to i want to make sure that we've got we can actually play the game and actually get everything i want to get if that makes sense uh, by the way i also want to level up my processor here and actually get that max level because that would be sweet because it like that's like the last weapon of the magnet launch which we need to level up and the magnet launch is one of those weapons which it'll, it'll level up eventually anyway so i'm just hoping we actually do oh god i'm backing away from that Okay, there we go. It's, it's, it blew it up anyway. But uh, I want to level up the magnet launcher. Probably, I probably will have, have enough. Ooh, <laughs> wow, that was a, a lucky shot. I didn't think Edward was going to kill him there, but Kronga's effort making plays. That's pretty usual. By the way, the processor is actually useful for just, like, cutting stuff out, I guess. It really is. Okay, anything else around here? Anything else? Nope. Still no hollow plan. I'm hoping I haven't missed it. I'm hoping I haven't missed it. I'm going to look a quick look around here, see if there's any more stuff, because I don't want to... I really, I really don't want to be on my own, but anyways, let's decrypt this. Okay, I'm keeping my eyes open. Oh my god, so this is a... This is a very much a more intense one, okay? A lot of these have been a lot more easier. Okay, how can I do this? Um, oh god, I don't know what... Um, I, I don't know... I, I don't know how we're going to do this, because it's such a tight one, isn't it? Okay, I feel like we've got... Okay, this is going to be difficult. This, we've literally got to be so fast here. This is crazy. Haven't we? Okay, it can't be the way I think it is. Come on, run, run, run. Okay, oh my god, it can't be this hard. Like, literally, we're going to be chasing around the spark instantly. Okay, we've got to go all the way around the board to actually get this done. Okay, move, move, move. Yo, oh my god, this is so precise. This is proper endgame stuff, isn't it? 
Okay, easy enough. Let's drop down there now and get the next one. Uh, oh god, oh god. Oh wait, what, what, what did I do? I went the wrong way. Okay, I want it, I want it to come down here. And then we're going to go to the next one on the right. Okay, this is very much so hard. Quick, there we go. Get, get that one. Yeah, and let's go down to the next one. And this should be it. Finish it. My god, that was very hard. That was very, very difficult. Like, you have to be so precise there. Great done, though. But Jesus Christ. How hard is that? Either, either way, it's successful over, override. Let's have a look what we have on the map. Okay. We've still got a bit to go. Okay, I just don't want to enter the next room yet. And be like, oh, we, we, we're missing stuff. Okay, let's uh, get stuff done here. Oh, and more enemies to kill, though. But thank you very much. Let's just get get some more good old experience on our Prosser here. This should actually level the Prosser up to the max, which I'm very surprised. I think I was actually going to get to the max level, but I feel like this game is designed in such a way where you will actually get the maximum amount of stuff you want, like you need to get, which it's very it's nice that way, you know. You don't have to do multiple playthroughs to actually level up your, your weapons. You, there's a high chance you will, will probably level up in one playthrough then, which I like. I like. Okay, there's a lot of boxes in here, which... I'm kind of, oh, I, I say I'm about to level it up, and, and I guess not, but, oh god, oh god, back up. Get, get some good old magnet launch on these guys. Okay, there's one over there. I missed I miss both of them there. Get that one. I just want to destroy these crates over here. Give me the hollow plan. Nope. Will you give me the hollow plan? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. We haven't missed the hollow plan. That's good. So so we can go back and get that with a smuggler later on. Uh, if maybe he's going to kind of, like, create that for us. we actually got all the hollow plans now, which is fantastic. Uh the only thing we're missing now is gold, a gold bolt somewhere in this in this level, which no idea where, but I'm hoping we're going to find out soon enough. Oh god, oh god, the quagmires are everywhere here. Run across, zoom. Oh god, oh god, hit, hit the button, hit the button, boom. That's going to do something at least. It's, it's going to open up the area. I don't know if we're meant to do that or do we have to wait, but either way, we're going to get some more good old uh, pr progression done, I guess. Okay, just keep, keep killing these guys, keep killing them. So I'm hoping I actually get the rhino in this one playthrough, by the way. I hope we don't have to play New Game Plus to actually get the rhino or whatever it is. I really want. I really want to get the Rhino. I really want to see if it's it's good, you know. Because I love the Rhino one. I love the Rhino two, but Rhino three wasn't great. The Zodiac a bit meh, you know. But now that doesn't mean we, we can actually stop breaking all of the actual crates. Now we don't really have to destroy them all the time. We're just looking for the stuff we need. Okay, that, that's obviously going to be end game stuff. The core of Azimuth there. Okay, so I don't know. I don't want to go in there in case it's end game stuff. We're actually in the core of Az Azimuth, so this is actually classes that area. So I'm guessing we can press all these and then buttons pressed and ticks and then it's going to open up. Unless, unless unless, I'm doing something wrong here. Where's Kronk and Zephyr gone? I'm sure they were over here a second ago. Kronk and Zephyr? Um, what are you lot doing over here? Um, I thought they would actually press the buttons for me, but... I don't know, am I missing something? I could definitely be missing something here. Uh, how do you open the core of Azimuth? Because that's obviously where we need to go, isn't it? Um... Because, like, we can land on the button, then that's activate, activate it. But then if we, as soon as we step off it, it, it isn't. Um, what is Kronk and Zephyr doing over here? I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. But what are you, what are you two doing? I, I, I'm guessing they've got to be with us. Because they, they're going to open it up for us, I guess. But I guess not. By the way, I think the gold ball is probably up, up right above us here. I saw the room above was very hollow. So I'm kind of, like, looking for a way in there. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. But... How do you actually open up the core of Azimuth here? Because I'm sure Kronk Kron Kron has got to be pressing these buttons or something. Because we can't actually get through here. Am I doing something wrong? Maybe. I don't know. There's been a few bugs in this game. I don't know if I'm... Because I'm, they're literally just... Oh, there's a bolt crank, idiot. Oh, uh, idiot. That's probably why then. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm blind. I am I am literally blind in these games. I bet you guys were like, The bolt crank, the bolt crank right there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm totally blind. I actually do wear glasses, by the way. So, yeah. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay, so, Talion's actually going to go and open up the thing there, then. Okay, okay. So, that's probably what it was for. <laughs> that's why they haven't pushed up, then. It makes sense, after all. So, I'm guessing there's going to be more enemies spawning, then, I hope. Okay, yeah, okay. We might actually still have time to actually level up our Prosser here, which is a good thing. Okay. Let's get our good old Prosser out here, here. Come on. Give me that sweet, sweet level up. Yeah, there we go. Prosser is now max level. And it is, oh my god, what the hell is that? It's dual flame now. What's it called? The incinerator. Okay, so the only level we have, uh, the only weapon we have left now to max level is the good old uh, bomb glove. Uh, not bomb glove, you know what I mean? The mine glove, which I don't think we're going to level up in this entire playthrough. But you know, we can try. We can believe. We can believe. You know, I'm, I'm hoping we can. But you know, I've got. I don't think we will be able to. Not not now, at least, since the end's right there. But we're going to keep our eyes open. Um, is there a vendor around here? Nope. Okay, that sucks. I was actually going to go back and buy some ammo and try to do that, but. 
But but here we go. Let's just keep shooting these guys and just. Oh, we're not vamos so fast here. This is not good. By the way, I hate the big guys here. You guys know this. I want to try out my alpha disruptor again. I tried it in the last episode against them, and they just wrecked me. They really did. Um, it just didn't one hit them. Okay, it one hit. No, it's not one hitting these guys. These guys got so much HP. Like, even the the, the almighty weapon that is, like, this weapon. Which I, I can't remember what it's called. The um, alpha cannon. It still doesn't one hit them. That is crazy. Then. These guys, seriously, are so, so powerful. Like, I don't like it. An enemy m more powerful than the Alpha Cannon? What is this world, you know? That's crazy. Like, I couldn't understand why they are, because they are, like, the elite enemies, but I, I, I was hoping we could at least do a, a bit more damage to them than what they're doing to me. Oh, come on, guys, just die already. Die, Kragmites. You have got no, no chance against me, bros. Nothing in a million years. You, you're all going to die. Okay, just keep dying. It's, it's, it's got to die. It's got, it's got to be nearly a weakest guy, hasn't he? Come on, just die already. Just die. Okay, you you hit me as much as you want. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm backing up here. Okay, I'm, I'm really weak. I should not have actually got that close to him. Let's throw down a tornado launcher. And let's throw down Doom Blades. We actually do have the... Um, our good old... Um, I keep forgetting what they're called. The Nano Swarmers, which... I feel like I'm going to definitely use the Nano Swarmers in this area right now. Because we are taking a lot of, a lot of d dumb damage. I know I'm calling them the, their pre... Pre-names, you know, before they actually did evolve into um, their V5 counterparts, but I'm, I'm going to still refer to them as what they are, the Nano Swarmers, whatever. Because that's what they really are. They are the OG Nano Swarmers, aren't they? Okay, just keep jumping, just keep jumping. But by the way, the, the amount of uh, how annoying these guys are is just ridiculous. Okay, okay, me and Talion's going to do this. Okay, come on, let's open it up. Together, we are strong. And it's going to open up the gate and actually allow us to actually get down to the core of Azimuth. How would we do this if we was on our own, by the way? Like, I'm really curious, like, how... How would we be able to do that? Okay, it looks like they're going to the core of Azimuth. I don't want to go in there yet. Like I said, I want to go back to the smuggle and see if you can actually do me a good deal on the Rhino or what have you, or whatever it's called. Okay, he's going to allow us to actually go in, or what's he going to do? Okay, so it looks like we can go in. There is actually all this area, so I kind of don't want to go in yet, because I still want to look for the gold bolt. Uh, I thought where Talion was, that might be where it is, but I don't know. Um, I kind of don't want to go in yet. Okay, uh... There has to be a gold bolt somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look around. Because uh, that looks very hollow in there. Do you see that? It looks very much like there should be something in there. Unless there's an entrance switch. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was thinking maybe that's where Talon is. And by the way, we did get a skill point. So that is the last gold bolt in the game. Golden children, we have got them all. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and pop to see my main man, the good old smuggler, to actually try to get that good old um, the thing we need. You guys know what we need. The almighty... Next level weapon. You guys know what it means. I'm going to meet you guys on Sargasso. I'll see you guys there. So it's now time to see the smuggle on Sargasso. We just landed. And let's see what it's going to give us. Let's talk to him. So it's, uh, I've got the full hollow plan for the weapon. Well, I'll be. You did it. All right, amigo. Stand by while my partner and I build your new weapon. Okay, I'm excited for this. I really am. What weapon is it going to be? I'm hoping it's the Rhino, but I'm, I'm not. Let's see what we've got. Son, I present to you the Rhino 4. Now, you be careful with this here Widowmaker. She's been banned in eight galaxies. So, we've actually got the Rhino 4. Oh, my God. Okay. Thermal, uh, global thermal nuclear war. Okay. I'm going to try this out on this planet now. Okay. That, oh, my. Wait, 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 wait. It can't be that good. Like... Are you guys seeing this? It's literally that. I don't think it's doing the same amount, like not the same amount of damage as um. Thing. By the way, we can actually pick Rhino Four ammo up in vent in the actual crates as well, which is fantastic. But it looks like it doesn't do as much damage as the Alpha Disruptor. Of course, this is a base level weapon, so it's pretty low level. I don't think we're actually gonna be able to level that up to the max before the final boss, because I think we're right there on a uh, Planet Fastoon. But either way, that is that's cool. You know, we've got the Rhino Four. I'm a bit disappointed with how much damage it does. Um, of course, that's going to change when we level it up. I'm excited to see it actually in action, so I probably will be using that for a bit of the final boss. Uh, I know people are probably like, oh, using the Rhino on the boss is a bit too overpowered. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. The only weapon we haven't actually got leveled up is the Rhino 4 and the Magnet Launcher, by the way. Um, but, you know, that might happen. It might not. Who knows? Anyways, I'm going to meet you guys back at the Court of Azimuth. Is that pronounce it? Azimuth? Azimuth? Something like that. I'll see you guys there. So I'm, I'm making my way back through the actual area. By the way, I'm going to try out the Rhino 5 on this guy. These guys are the annoying enemies that takes a lot to kill. 
Okay. It does more damage than I thought. Dalva just to... I guess it does more damage per shot. But I'm guessing the amount of damage DPS the Rhino 4 does is higher, I presume. Uh, by the way, I do like the Rhino 4. I think it's a fantastic weapon. I'm so happy we actually got it. Oh my god, wait. I've got to go back through here. Oh, that's annoying. But it's fine. We've got the Rhino 4. Can we actually level it up? We oh my god, we can actually level it up. Okay, more bolts and more ammo. I think I'm going to buy more ammo here. I know I was leveling up the Magnet Launcher, but it's fine. But um, I'm going to be fighting these guys. I'm going to be leveling up my weapons again. Oh, by the way, our Magnet Launcher just hit level 5 here. So that's the max level now. So the only weapon we haven't actually made max level there is the Rhino 4. Which, which is a bit sad, uh, and sadly we won't actually be able to level it up because it is it, it takes so much experience to actually level it up. But to, to be honest, I'm actually really excited to actually have it. By the way, the magnet launch is now called the Magnet Cannon, which is a lot like the Alpha Disruptor with again the cannon name. But either way, I'm actually happy to have actually have all my weapons level five except one, which seems to be pretty much impossible to do on our first playthrough anyway. And then this will literally go and grind, so I'm happy with that either way. One thing I do like about the Rhino 4, by the way, is the amount of range it actually has. It has such good range, and it hits multiple targets at once, which makes it a very much a viable option in comparison to the other weapons you actually have to deal with in the game. So, uh, yeah, either way, fantastic weapon, but it does burn for ammo pretty fast, as you can see right there. I literally just filled it up, and then it's all gone. But I, I wonder how it's going to hold up against Tachyon. Um, I'm, I, I imagine if he's not the final boss, that would be so rad if like there was like another boss but, like, after Tachyon and Tachyon was actually pulling the strings the entire time with someone else and Tachyon was like a front. Kind of like um, how Quark was in the first game. That would be so epic. It really would be like, it's kind of like a hidden agenda. Oh, that, that would be epic if that was the case. But I, I'm guessing that's not going to be the case because that's too, too, uh, it's too smart for Ratchet and Clank, that isn't it? It really is. Anyway, let's actually open this game up again and uh, we're going to see the same cutscene again. So I've just added my quick select, so I've got the Rhino, the Magma Combustor, the Tempest, the Alpha Cannon, the Raptor Launcher, the Plasma Stalkers, Ju the Judicator, and the Toxic Swarmers as my main source of weapons here. I don't know how this boss fight is going to go, but I'm actually going to level up my, uh, <laughs> I'm going to level up my Rhino 4 again, just because I can, to get some more ammo on that. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Wait, does that mean I need more ammo now? No. Okay. Anyways, let's actually go to the Court of Azimuth, and we're going to take down Tachyon. Bring it on, Tachyon. With their city decimated by my enforcers, your race took refuge behind these walls. They believed if they left this dimension, I would leave Polaris unscathed. <laughs> You're lying! Lombaxes don't run. Is that so? Dimensionator! Find the Lombaxes! Keeper of the Dimensionator and his infant son. I took great pleasure in destroying your father, Lombax. Pity he sent you to Solana before we could meet. I offer you this one chance. Go home. Join your race. Or stay and suffer. If I leave you with the Dimensionator, no one will be safe. Not the Lombaxes, not my friends. I'm not going anywhere until it's destroyed. Typical Lombax. So noble, so courageous, and so very dead. Oh my god, so Tachyon actually killed Ratchet's father before the first game. That is, that is deep, isn't it, by the way? The rhino wrecks him. What's this? No. No! What, you infernal machine? Huh. You were right. Wormhole devices are dangerous. What? Oh, come on. It's not like one of those hollow films where you think the guy's dead and suddenly... Ah! No. What have you done? You've ruined everything! We are.
are so screwed. Okay, so we're fighting on a new planet here now. Okay. We've still got all of our rhino ammo, which is fantastic. Well, we've got all the rhino ammo we have left over. But he seems like he's... Oh my god, what the... Okay, I don't know how I dodged that, but I'm happy either way. I don't think I'm doing damage here, by the way, which is not good. But, but I'm, I'm loving the idea that, like, te like, the Emperor's been playing the like playing us off from the entire start of the game. Like, he's the reason why we was alone on the first game. That is deep, isn't it? That really is. That's part of the Alpha Shrub to here. Okay. Alpha Shrub to come on. We, we, we're getting... Oh, I, don't, I, I feel like I just missed him, which is not ideal. Okay. Again, another one there. The Alpha Shrub isn't doing much damage to him like the Rhino did. But either way, it's doing a decent chunk. Let's get some plasma... Some good old plasma man, men down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at all these missiles in the air. This is not good. Okay, where is my toxic swarm? Let's get some of them down. Toxic swarms are fantastic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How am I? How are you meant to dodge this? How are you meant to dodge this? Seriously. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. Tachyon is such a hard boss so far. It's a very unique one as well. Uh, it just reminds me like Chairman Drek from the first game, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm enjoying it very much. Like it is a very cool boss fight. And it's very intense. Okay, I can't believe, I can't believe I've never actually seen this spot out before. Okay, let's pull up the Judicator and do our thing here. Okay, the laser beams are annoying to dodge, by the way. Oh, I died. Almost got him, though. We almost got him. So that's nice to know. So my second playthrough through this area, by the way, it looks like, um, by the way, a random swarm guy, uh, a plasma stalker just randomly appeared. It looks like there's actually ammo crates here now, which I think is pretty cool, because that means I can actually farm some more rhino ammo. I'm not going to lie, this boss fight would be pretty much impossible without the Rhino, by the way. Like, we've done a lot of damage to him right now, and a lot of that is caused by the Rhino. Like, it's crazy, like, the Rhino is literally his weakness, and we might have actually just killed him with just the Rhino. And we did, I think. Did we kill him? Yeah, we did, with just the Rhino. You can't kill me, Longbox. Only I know your true purpose in this galaxy. Only I know your true name. The crack my return is inevitable. Your kind will never be safe. Do you hear me? Never! It's broken. Looks like something snapped off the primary reflux coil. I believe it is missing a three and three quarters centicubit hexagonal washer. Dimensionator, find home! Ratchet, are you all right? Uh, where... where are we? We are home, Ratchet. I'm from the throat! Arr. Honestly, how did you ever become the captain of anything? Once more, and this time, add an inappropriate slur. Arr, you saucy wench! <sighs> I'm gonna need more grog. I am Tachyon, crown prince of the Craggy Might. Fear me and yeah. Yeah, what not? For I will rule the universe. <laughs> Die, crack my feet! <laughs> will you two be careful? Crow's head is a microcubit away from popping off. Do you think he was telling the truth, Clank? About my father? About my purpose? I detected no lie in his voice. But I believe your purpose has already been filled. You vanquished Tachyon, something even the Lombaxes could not do. Thanks, Clank. Don't look at me. You said it was broken. Whoa. Blank. Are these the Zoni? The time has come, son, to learn who you are and who you have become. Let. Him. Go! It is time to understand your purpose. It is time to come with us. 
Yes, time to come with you. Clank! memory of Dan Johnson. So that's the end of the game. Um, I wish the final boss wasn't as a pushover as he was with the Rhino. I know I probably could have beaten him with other weapons and stuff, but I, I had the Rhino, I wanted to use the Rhino, and that's why I used it. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, we used the Rhino on the final boss. That made it easy. I wanted to do that because I've worked hard trying to get all those parts. I've, I've spent a lot of time searching around for him. So I'm kind of glad I actually got that done. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is I wish... Tachyon's like entire agenda about killing um like Ratchet's parents and stuff. Well, Ratchet's father. I wish that was made more apparent earlier on. Like for example, maybe when we first uh maybe like I have through the game I found out that he was obviously involved in like the death of um Ratchet's dad. That would have probably given us a massive motive to actually chase him down. Uh what I think is gonna happen next, by the way, Clank's been taken away by the Zoni. I'm guessing in the quest of booty we're going to get the dimension it sorted and fixed. We're going to go chase him through dimensions after him. I'm guessing that's how it's going to happen because I know there's the there's the quest of booty, a crack in time. I think there's into the nexus. I don't know if like the next game is kind of like where we get Clank back or will it be like a long story? Maybe into the nexus we game. I I'm hoping it becomes more and more apparent later on. I like that they left the game on a cliffhanger. I think that's a fantastic way to actually end off the Ratchet and Clank future tools of destruction arc because. Where else could they go? They beat the they beat the bad guy. Um, the next game is actually Quest of Booty. I hear that game's very very short though. Um, I'm looking forward to playing that. Don't get me wrong. I will be the next Ratchet Clank game I play, and then we'll probably play the um, <laughs> Henry the Gring English. That is very mean, by the way. Hin Henry <laughs> Henry the English Wong. That is awful. Uh, by the way, James Arnold Taylor as Ratchet. David K is Clank, wow, I didn't know that. But uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing... Oh my god, wait, Jess ha Han as the smuggler. Oh, by the way, I want to mention something really quickly. The plumber is actually the savior of this game. He actually got us home at the end. You know when um, when when Tachyon's uh, Dimensionator broke, we used the cog he got earlier in the game. When we actually met him before we got the Alpha Disruptor, like on Sargasso, he saved us. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening next in the Ratchet Clank series. I don't know what's expected. I know the question of is, so that makes me think pirates. Maybe, um, I know we saw the guy at the end with Quark. I can't remember, it was um, the pirate guy's right-hand man. Maybe he'll be back in the next game. I hope so. Um, I don't know what to expect, though. Um, like I said, the next game I've heard is pretty short. I'm wondering if Tywin's going to be in. I wonder if Quark and Zenf is going to be in. I'm hoping Clank's in it. Because Clank is kind of like one of those things. Like I hate moving without Clank, you know. I feel it's a bit too clunky without Clank, so I'm hoping... Uh, Clank is back in the next game, so we can actually do some kind of better movements and stuff. Or maybe it might just be like a totally different game to, to, to begin with. Maybe the timeline's all messed up, so we might, might have Clank at the start of the game and then ends at the start of Total Destruction. I don't know. Um, that would actually be a really cool idea. Like, it was like a prequel, the, the sequel, if that makes sense. Oh, that would be really cool that way it ends. And, uh, it, like, as the question where it ends, maybe Total Destruction starts. I don't know. Uh, I am looking forward to it though. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Let's Play. Overall, I've really enjoyed the story, minus a few little hiccups I've had with rec recording and stuff, and a few little glitches I've had in game. But you know, it, it can't be helped. This game is old and it will have issues, you know. Uh, another thing I really wish is that this game had uh, trophies. It would make it a lot more easier for me to actually do like a post game thing, like play through the game again. But I've got no real reason to play through the game because, like, there's no achievements, there's no trophies for me to actually go back through. So. I'm happy, with it. I've done this. I'm happy I've done this game, you know, I've had a lot of problems recording like I mentioned, but it has been a lot of fun. By the way, the soundtrack is fantastic, the voice acting is great, I just wish there was more story on Tachyon's agenda. Um, I like that they, they incorporated Krong, Zephyr and Tywin. Um, I really like the idea of the Zoni, by the way, I'm hoping the Zonis appear again 
in a later game as like kind of like Clank's right hand man or something, or Clank's kind of nanobots. Because I loved, I loved the Zonies, you know. It made the Clank segment so much more fun. And that's something I really want to respect about this game. Like, this game's entire story and entire gameplay element is fantastic. This game has been a pleasure to play. And I'm guessing there's going to be a new game plus. There always is. Where you can play through the game again with all your upgraded weapons, all your bolts, just the entire story resets. Uh, I am kind of glad we actually did get the Rhino. I'm glad we got all the gold bolts. Because that's what I like to do in a Ratchet Clank game. I like to get all the gold bolts, all the collectibles, other than the skill points. Because the skill points are just stupid, but... Either way, I've had a lot of fun playing it, and I hope you guys have watching it. It has been a very interesting let's play, if you think about it. Like, it's been one of those bad things have happened. I've had a few errors recording here and there, but it's been a lot of fun. And that's something I really like about doing some certain let's plays and stuff. Like, some games are very tiring, and other ones are just so, so fun to play. And this has been one of those really my childhood replaying games, which I never played as a kid growing up. Like, I played all the way up to, um, I think it was size matters and then after that I stopped playing and then I started playing the new uh, the 2016 Ratchet and Clank so I'm actually happy I'm actually finally getting to play the Ratchet and Clank games I actually missed because there is I think there's another six games there's there's Q Force coming up Full Frontal Assault and stuff like that I'm really excited to play those games um, and all for one obviously but a lot of people don't like those games and I'm, I'm excited to see why I know I'm pretty sure all for one's like kind of like a four player a four player one way players Nefarious Quark Ratchet and Clank I'm excited about that I'm probably going to do it solo, by the way, but like, there's so many other Ratchet and Clank games out there. I'm so excited to play them. By the way, there is, um, I think it's called Before the Nexus as well, which I will be playing on my channel, up and coming. Uh, so, so many Ratchet and Clank games, so many Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, by the way, Ratchet and Clank Quest of Boo will not be my next Let's Play. It will be up and it'll be up coming. It will be in, like probably like two or three Let's Plays, but I just want to break from Ratchet and Clank now. I've been in another game. I think I'm actually going to play some PSP games next, because um, I, I recently bought a lot of PSP games. I'm excited for that. And I might, I might play a bit of some um, GameCube games, maybe. But yeah, anyways, I think I'm going to let the credits roll. There probably will be a post credit scene. But I shall see you guys in my next Let's Play. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this play this playthrough as much as I have playing it. To, to be honest, this game still puts a massive smile on my face, even though I've never played it before. Just the idea that I'm playing a game which I grew up with is fantastic. But I'll see you guys next time for more. For more games, I guess. Uh, I'll see you guys in, in Quest for Booty, which is going to be good. That's going to be coming up soon. By the way... Uh, uh, the Palo version of the game, I'm, and I'm pretty sure the GPN version was the only two versions in the entire like spread of the game, which actually got a disc release. So, I will be playing the Quest of Booty disc, another downloadable version, which I'm really excited for. Anyways, enough talking. I'll see you all next time for more video games. Yeah, take care and peace.